Hello everybody, this is Joseph and welcome to another QML tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the imports. Okay, um, let's look at this right here. Okay, this says right here, it says import QT Quick 2.0. Okay, what does that actually mean? Okay, so if we actually... Inside, let's start this. Inside of Qt Quick, okay, has things like our elements, like our rectangle and text and mouse area and so on and so forth, okay? This is like a library, okay? And what I mean by that is if, is if you were to go into a library, okay, and you were to say, where are all of the fantasy uh, science fiction books located, okay? That would be like saying import... Uh, sci-fi fantasy okay that would be that part of that inside of that library of what we want to go and grab okay or what about action or romance right so each one of those libraries okay contain different things okay just like in a library for fantasy you wouldn't run into a romantic love story book okay so in qml we have our own libraries now we can look at each one of these libraries in our file system underneath where we actually have it saved underneath here's our source right here 5.1 gcc qml these are all the libraries that we have right here okay so when we say import qt quick dot 2.0 that's calling to this folder right here, and it's saying make sure that these plugins right here, these library plugins, are loaded. Okay. Now, if we actually go to Qt Quick right here and look inside of it, you will see that there's things like XML lists, model controls, dialogs, layouts, local storage, particles, private window uh, widgets, and then there's something called Windows.2. Window.2. We're going to use that right now. So let's go over here and let's say import Qt Quick because remember, geez, remember Qt Q U I C. Okay, remember. Let's look at the folder situation again here. It's underneath QML Qt Quick Window.2.0, right? So how would that work on the import? It'd be a Qt Quick, and then you have to put a dot. Okay, so that declares that it's going to be a new folder, like it's in the new new folder. Okay, so this is like the wrong, yeah. Okay, so here's window 2.0, right? So what we're doing is we're calling Qt Quick. We're saying go to that file folder location, and inside of there, there's a library called Window 2.0. Okay. Now, what does Window 2.0 do? You're probably asking. Well, if we you know I'm going to tell you to go to the help page. If we select over it, press the F1 button, um, of course it'll go to the help page. But for sanctity of simplicity, um, I'm just going to type away here. Okay, there's an element, okay, in Qt Quick Window 2.0 called screen. Okay, so let's do that. S C R E E N, right? And if we press the dot button, we can say with. Okay. Now what this will do is it will calculate the current width that you are presented with on this desktop, okay? And it will calculate that, all right? And here, we'll, we'll, we'll make a better situation, right? So we'll say root tangle, okay? And we got our mouse, my button over here. Let's just say council log root tangle dot, or we don't even have to do that. We can just say screen dot width okay so when we click on that it should do that so let's go ahead and run this and you can see it's exactly as long whoops and you can see that it's exactly as long as it as the screen that I'm on right here and we press the the button and there it is 1280 because I am definitely at 1280 width okay that's per pixels right and now we can do it with the screen dot height okay and let's do let's just run that and you can see that it takes up the whole entire screen and pops it out to be full screen okay 
we cannot go back over here and quit the application. Okay. Now, there are other things in Qt Quick Window 2.0. If we go over to our help section and we actually type and we go to our search right here, we make sure that this is on search and we type in QT quick window. And we look around, we'll eventually find it. We, here's even an example file, okay? So we can open it up and look at how they're using it, okay? Well, this is Joseph. You've learned about. Uh, importing libraries in this one and there are a lot of extra libraries in the whole entire framework so um, but I just wanted to get that out of the way and I wanted to teach you guys what screen was because it's really helpful because later on when our programs get really big we always have something that we can go back to and say listen I want this to be cross compatible. I want it to run on every single platform that, that is available for QML, but I need to know these screen sizes. I need to know all of these things so that later on we can go down to all of our buttons and instead of, you know, where it says root tangle width divided by two, it's going and it's looking at the screen width, okay, and then doing the math. So we, it's always going to be in the, the exact position that it needs to be. Okay, well, this is Joseph. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a good one, and uh, be nice to everybody out there.